What's up, Cornhole fans? This is Trey Ryder with the ACL, and this is Cornhole 101. Let's dive into some cornhole technique that'll get you on your way to become an ACL pro in no time. In order to dive into technique, we first need to understand the bags that we're using. The bags that we're using within the ACL are two-sided bags. So when I say two-sided bags, it means they're made with two different materials. Why is that? It gives you different variations in your shot selection and your strategy as you approach a cornhole game. We look at a cornhole bag, one side, which we call the slick side or the fast side, depending on your lingo, is going to travel faster up the board when it comes to a traditional slide type shot. It's often used best for pushing bags or players that have a high loft on their bags from their technique perspective. On the other side of the bag, we have our sticky or tacky or slow side, depending on your preferred lingo. On this side of the bag, we are going to have a fabric that has a higher coefficient of friction, if you will, for those scientific nerds out there like me. And what that does is it causes the bag to travel slower up the board on a traditional slide shot. This type of fabric is great for a block shot, or sometimes even a flop or roll shot to give that extra grip to cause that rolling or flopping action. So now, now that we have looked at our bags and we understand the two different sides, let's get into some technique. The main technique many people ask when they first get into the sport is about grip. When we look at grip, it really depends on how far forward or how far back that you want to grip the cornhole bag and how many beads that you want to grip. Many players choose to really grip the entire half of the bag, putting half of the beads in their hands. In general, the farther up the bag, closer to the front of the bag that you grip, the more natural spin that you're gonna put on the bag, which is great for first time players really learning how to spin a cornhole bag for the first time. Gripping at the back of the bag will give you a better opportunity for a little bit of wrist action, but requires a little bit more effort to create that natural spin. Now that we've looked at grip, we want to look at stances. Everybody has their own unique stance, release point, so the, really the possibilities are endless when it comes to this. The decision that you have to make is really, do I want to be a stepper or do I want to stand still? Players that choose to step in cornhole are often players that like the rhythm action that is often seen in other major sports, like throwing a baseball, throwing a football, it has a natural stepping action. But with so many moving parts, it can often lead to some inaccuracy. On the flip side, players that stand still are looking for the highest consistency with the most minimal movement possible. They're going to stand still to prevent any side to side motion, front to back motion in order to create a consistent throw each and every time. So no matter what your grip is, no matter what your stance is, and really no matter what your bag is, it's all about finding consistency and finding a method that works best for you. 